Hi, and welcome to Bible Buddy, and today we are reading for day number 228, but let's pray first. Father, we come to you today with open minds. We come to you today willing to conquer the task you have set out for us. We ask you to cleanse us of our sins and make us worthy to receive your blessings. In Jesus' most holy name we pray, amen. Okay, so we're still in the book of Isaiah, and let's open up to Isaiah 19. And let's read together. The burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon the swift cloud, and shall come to Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And I will set up the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst of Thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to the idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. And the Egyptians will I give over to the hand of the cruel Lord, and the fierce king shall rule over them, said the Lord, the Lord of hosts. And the waters shall fail from the sea, and the rivers shall be wasted and dried up, and they shall turn the rivers far away. And the brooks of defense shall be emptied and dried up, and the reeds in the flag shall wither. The paper reeds by the brooks, by the mouth of the brooks, and everything sown by the brooks shall wither and driven away, and be no more. And the fishers also shall mourn, shall, shall mourn. And all they that cast angle into the brooks shall lament, and they that spread nests upon the water shall languish. Moreover, they that work in fine flax, and they that weave networks shall be co-founded, and they shall be broken in the purpose thereof. All that make sluices and ponds for fish, surely the princes of Zoan are fools. The council of the wise councils of Pharaoh is become brutish, and how and say ye unto Pharaoh, I am the son of the wise, the son of ancient kings. Where are they? Where are thy wise men? And let them not tell now. And let them know that the Lord of hosts hath purpose upon Egypt. The princes of Zoan are become fools, and princes of Nov are deceived, and they also seduce Egypt. Even they that are the stay of the tribes thereof, the Lord hath mingled perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they that have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. Neither shall be there be any work of Egypt which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. In that day shall Egypt be like unto women, and it shall be afraid and fear, because the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he shaketh over it, and the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Every one that maketh mention shall thereof shall be afraid in himself, because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he hath determined against it. In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan, and swear to the Lord, of hosts, and one shall be called the city of destruction. In that day shall there be an altar in the Lord, in the midst of the land of Egypt, and pillar the border thereof to the Lord. And it shall be for a sign, for a witness unto the Lord, hosts of hosts, in the land of Egypt. For they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors, and he shall send them a savior, a, and a great one, and he shall deliver them. And the Lord shall be known to Egypt, and the Egyptians shall know the Lord in that day and shall do sacrifice and oblation, yea, they shall vow a vow unto the Lord, and perform it. And the Lord shall smite Egypt, and he shall smite and heal it, and they shall return even to the Lord, and he shall be entreated of them, and he shall heal them. In that day shall there be a highway out of Egypt to Assyria, and the Assyrian shall come to Egypt, and the Egyptians into Assyria, and the Egyptians shall, shall, shall serve with the Assyrians. In that day shall Israel be the third with Egypt and with the Assyria, even a blessing is in the midst of the land, whom the Lord of hosts shall bless, saying, Bless be Egypt, my people, and Assyria the work of their hands, and Israel mine inheritance. In the year that Tartan came unto Ashdod, when Sargon the king of Assyria sent him, and fought against Ashdod and took it. At the same time spake the Lord by Isaiah, the son of Amos, saying, Go, and loose the sackcloth from off thy loins, and put off thy shoe from thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. And the Lord said, Like as my servant Isaiah, 
hath walked naked and barefoot three years for a sign and wonder upon Egypt and upon Ethiopia. So shall the king of Assyria lead away the Egyptians prisoners, and the Ethiopians captives, young and old, naked and barefoot, even with their buttocks uncovered, to the shame of Egypt. And they shall be afraid and ashamed of Ethiopia, their expectation, and of Egypt, their glory. And the inhabitant of this isle shall say in that day, Behold, such is our expectation, whither we flee for help to be delivered from the king of Assyria, and how shall we escape? The burden of the desert of the sea, as the whirlwinds in the south pass through, so it cometh from desert to a terrible land. A grievous vision is declared unto me. The treacherous dealer dealeth treacherously, and the spoiler spoileth. Go up, O Elam, beseech, O Media. All the sighing thereof have I made to cease. Therefore are my loins filled with pain. Pangs have taken hold upon me, as the pains of a woman that travaileth. As I bow down at the hearing of it, I was dismayed at the seeing of it. My heart panted, fearfulness affrighted me. The night of my pleasure hath he turned into fear unto me. Prepare the table, watch in the tower, eat, drink, arise, ye princes, and anoint the shield. For thus hath the Lord said unto me, Go, set a watchman, let him declare that what he seeth. For he saw a chariot with a couple of horsemen, and a chariot of asses, and a chariot of camels, and he here hearkened diligently with much heat. As and he cried, A lion, my lord, I stand continually upon the watchtower in the daytime, in the daytime, and I am set in my inward whole nights. And behold, here cometh a chariot of men, with a couple of horsemen. And he answered and said, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, and all graven images of hard gods he hath broken unto the ground. O my threshing, and the corn of my floor, that which I have heard of the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, have I declared unto you. The burden of Duma he calleth to me out of Seir, watchman. What of the night, watchman, what of the night? The watchman said, The morning cometh, and oaths of the night. If ye will inquire and pray ye, return, come. The burden of Ara the burden upon Arabia. In the forest in Arabia shall ye lodge. O ye travelling companies, the Jadim. The inhabitants of the land of Tima brought water to him that was thirsty. They prevented with their bread him that fled, for they fled from the swords, from the drawn sword, and from the bent bow, and from the grievousness of war. For thus hath the Lord said unto me, Within a year according to the year of their hireling, and all the glory of Kedar shall fail, and the residue of the number of archers, the mighty men of children of Kedar, shall be diminished, for the Lord God of Israel hath spoken. The burden of the valley of vision, what eleth, Thee now, what thou art wholly gone up to the housetops, thou that art full of stirs, a tumultuous city, a joyous city, thy slain men that are not slain with the sword, nor dead in battle. All thy rulers are fled together, they are bound by archers. All that are found in thee are bound together, which I have fled from afar, which have fled from afar. Therefore said I, Look away from me, I will weep bitterly. Labor not to comfort me because of the spoiling of the daughter of my people. For it is a day of trouble and of treading down, and the perplexity by the Lord God of hosts in the valley of vision, breaking down the walls and of crying to the mountains. And Elam bare the quiver of chariots of men and horsemen, and Kir uncovered the shield. And it shall come to pass that thy choicest valley shall be full of chariots, and the horsemen shall set themselves in array at the gate. And he discovered the covering of Judah, and thou didst look in that day to the armor of the house of the forest. Ye have seen also the breaches of the city of David, that, are, that they are many. And ye gathered together the waters of the lower pool. And ye have numbered the houses of Jerusalem, and the houses have ye broken down to fortify the wall. Ye made also a ditch between the two walls for the water of the old pool, but ye have not looked unto the maker thereof, neither had respect unto him that fashioned it long ago. And in that day did the Lord God of hosts call to weeping and to mourning and to baldness and to girdling with sackcloth. And behold, joy and gladness, slaying oxen and killing sheep, eating flesh and drinking wine, 
Let us eat and drink, and for tomorrow shall we die. And it was revealed in mine ears by the Lord of hosts, Surely this iniquity shall not be purged from you till ye die. Said the Lord God of hosts, Thus said the Lord God of hosts, Go, get thee into his treasurer, even unto Shebna, which is over the house, and say, What hast thou there, here, and whom hast thou here, that hast, that thou hast hold thee out of a scalp, sepulchre here, and as he that hold him out a sepulchre on high, and that graveth an habitation for himself in a rock, behold, the Lord will carry thee away with a mighty captivity, and will surely cover thee, he will surely violently turn and toss thee like a ball into a large country. There shalt thou die, and there the chariot of thy glory shall be the shame of, of thy Lord's house. And I will drive thee from thy nation, and from thy state, that shall he pull thee down. And it shall come to pass in that day, that I will call my servant Elika, Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah. And I will clothe him with my robe, and strengthen him with thy girdle, and I will commit thy government into his hand. And he shall be the father of the inhabitants of Jerusalem, into the house of Judah, and the key of the house of David I will lay upon his shoulder. And he shall open, and none shall shut, and he shall shut, and none shall open. And I will fasten him as a nail in a sure place, and he shall be for a glorious throne to his father's house. And they shall hang upon him all the glory of his father's house, the offspring and the issue, all vessels of small quantity from the vessels of cups, even to all the vessels of flagons. In that day, said the Lord of hosts, shall the nail that is fastened in a sure place be removed, and be cut down and fall. And the burden that was upon it shall be cut off, for the Lord hath spoken it. Well, thank you so much for reading along with me, and I will see you all tomorrow, and God bless.